All right. So what we got is a 2007 Saturn View with a 3.5 engine where you're going to change the alternator on it. 3.5, I believe, is a Honda motor. Okay, so it might be the same for a Honda motor or whatever chassis this motor is in. All right, with this one here, since the alternator is all there in the front towards the radiator, you have to take the air cleaner box off. The air cleaner box is very simple. Two clips over here. Disconnect the... Uh, the plug that's over here for this uh, air temperature sensor then you got the screw for the hose you take the top half off all right take the top half off the bottom has a little 10 millimeter bolt you take that off then you wiggle it out okay there's a little uh, inlet pipe that comes in through here all right you have to wiggle it out pull it out especially if it's not uh, been removed before you got these little rubber plugs that actually Hold it in there, all right? You have to wiggle it, it was pretty tough. Check out this air filter, yeah. Definitely wasn't breathing this engine. All right, you take that off. I'm gonna put this off on the side after you pop it out. After you pop it out, what I did here was I disconnected this bolt right here, 10 millimeter, took it and put it out of the way. Okay, while I'm at it, another 10 millimeter bolt, disconnected this little. AC pipe. All right, now going down over here, you gotta disconnect your belt. Disconnect your belt, you use your belt tensioning tool. Okay, you put it on that nut there and the tension is gonna pull forward. When it pulls forward, it loosens up the belt. But look, I like, I love these cars that have these things over here. There's a little hole over there. If you look at it, you could put a bolt in there and that'll support it up out of the way. Also look at it for it. Okay. That's a little quarter inch metric bolt that I used. You use your little belt tool, crank it all the way up, stick a bolt in there, and that holds the tensioner up out of the way. So when you do that, you take your belt off, tuck that out of the way. Now, for the alternator itself, the alternator itself has a 12 millimeter bolt up on top, which is this ear over here. Okay, that's a 12 millimeter bolt. And the one on the bottom is a 14. The 14 is the one that's all the way down on the bottom. That's actually the uh, the pivot one, all right? That goes right there. That's a nice long one. 14 is the baby. It actually comes out without hitting this frame. Okay, you can't use a uh, deep socket. That doesn't work. So I use a short socket with a little shorty. We're able to get there in between the frame. And that comes out. On top over here, there is a little bracket over here, a little L bracket. It's held on with a 10 millimeter bolt that holds the wiring to the alternator. Okay, the wiring's gonna have to come out with the alternator and you're gonna have to disconnect it over here somewhere. So now we're up to this point where I took the bolt off, it's loose. Now we're gonna try to fit it through this hole over here. It's like, as you can tell, it's going to be very, very tight. So what I did here was I disconnected the, uh, the engine mount, this little bolt. That comes out over here. Okay, took that out. Put a little block of wood on the oil pan. And we're going to raise it up a little bit so I can get a little clearance. And it should be coming out right over here. Okay, you might have to tweak it a little bit. Maybe, you know, the pipe is out of the way a little bit. You got to move it. But it should come out. Should give you a nice little clearance. This is the wiring that's for the alternator that should come out with it, and you should disconnect everything over here. All right, so I'm gonna put you on pause now while I'll jack it up. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, yep, that's the way to go. All right, block of wood, raise it up. You do have to take the tensioner pulley off, it's a righty loosey. All right, it's left-handed thread. Got to go the other way with it. All right, turn it that way, and the wheel comes right off. And that'll give you a little bit more room. You might have to still kind of uh, manhandle it out a little bit. All right, you can see the little scratches here and there. But it does come out. It'll come out this way. It is a tight fit. Okay. Uh, I don't have the new one to go back in because they sent me the wrong one. All right. But uh, yeah, once it was laying over here, I was able to take the um, 
the positive cable off. Okay, put it out of the way, and the other one is just a plug. All right, squeeze that little tab, squeeze that little tab over there, and it pulls right off. They both have rubber boots on it. All right, that's it. Just waiting for the new one, and then going back in. Ciao.